Like about to bloom like a sapo Hold me down like a capo In the middle of the room I saw you In the middle of the room Hi, welcome to Delicate Dark Girl Look at this I've had it for What? I've been using it for A month If they made a bigger one I would get it I liked it a lot It was Doesn't smell like anything in particular it's really soothing on the skin I think it cleaned well but mainly soothing let's get into today as you saw the title of the video it says um, Sade aesthetic and so I wanted to talk about some very adult things much like Sade <laughs> in there Sade excuse me I've been saying Sade as long as I can remember. Like, it was out and doing her thing. I was a child. Um, and so I could only follow her career on the radio. But that didn't stop her from being very popular among me and my like junior high classmates. <laughs> so anyway. Today I wanted to talk about like being exhausted. And not so much so with daily life but with injustice because of the internet we have I'm just gonna use my elf we have a endless tirade of news at our fingertips if you have constant internet <clears throat> and because of that you get a lot of bad news a lot of the time and that's not to say that like don't look at it or whatever it's important to be abreast but then you start to feel like you can't do anything or you start to notice that everyone on the internet is always asking the same question which is why is no one talking about this and the thing is maybe you just found out and you're like well dang can I have a minute to figure out what's going on first or you're like I'm not talking about it because I don't want to and I think that's perfectly valid because in order to care about something that doesn't mean you have to talk about it sometimes the way people show they care through actions instead of words not everyone is someone who likes to talk about things I pulled my hair straight back and it's weird <laughs> and my whole thing is while it's important for issues to get exposure so that you know things can have light shed on them it's more important to find people who are moving towards action in ways that are plausible and feasible for you you don't have to be the loudest microphone in the room because sometimes you have the ability to uh, make things happen and that's not to say that talking isn't important everything has its place so I just feel, I wish that people would give people more chances to be aware and help in these situations in another way like everyone has doesn't have to do everything the same way because of this all day aesthetic we're gonna start with eyebrows she kept hers really thick and so will i i'm gonna bring you in a little too yeah it just kind of makes me sad that um people are always attacking someone on the internet because they haven't made their viewpoints public just because someone isn't talking about it doesn't mean they're not doing anything or that they don't care um that's not the end all be all because somebody else could be the loudest speaker in the room and then go home at night and that's it and i'm not talking about someone who can't do anything else because sometimes a lot of people they um they're so passionate about being an amplifier about injustice because they feel that this is all they can do you know and I think that's important for everyone to feel like they can do something however everyone something isn't going to be speaking for the most part it's really about just feeling like burnt out trying to be the internet's greatest activist. I remember when I was little and my mother would take us to protests all the time like labor protests 
We went to the Darfur prote protests, million more marches. That's not a protest, it's more just like a gathering. We were heavily involved in a in the political scene from a grassroots point. So I personally lean more towards the giving information and donation kind of thing. Now, throwing money at everything isn't always the answer, but a lot of the times it helps because people need stuff. People need resources and resources cost money. So, so these are going to be my eyebrows. I, I don't like them. We have to fix that. We have to fix them. People are always going to be talking about something in America that people like to be abreast of situations because, you know, people take on that burden of having to tell people what's going on. It can be mentally and emotionally taxing and I think it's okay to take a break from the work. I watched or read something where the person was like, I know it's exhausting, but you have to fight through the tired because there is no time to rest. And I felt like that was a very, um, that was a ridiculous thing to say because there is always time to rest because you can't help anybody when you aren't able to take care of yourself. You have to set boundaries because at the end of the day, another thing about the world in general, like sometimes you can sit down because you have done all you can. And I'm not just saying sit back and wait for someone to solve everything because we know that's never gonna happen. But what I am saying is that you deserve to rest when you are tired. There are other ways, sane ways, balanced ways to do this. Even if that just means cycling off of the scene for maybe like two weeks, taking a little break. Like everyone says, you know, they're always like, the injustice never sleeps, you know, this the work never stops. Exactly, the work never stops. That means you can though, and pick it right back up where you left off. So that's my rant for today. I thought it would be fitting to talk about it here because I'm doing Sade makeup. I'm just gonna clean up a little bit because you know what? I need to. Is yeah, that's good. I like that. Good thick eyebrows. Mm. Sade's makeup. It was really just classic '90s it girl makeup. That's what it was. It wasn't like specific to Sade at all. It was very much so a very 90s makeup look like if you were gonna be an it girl in the 90s this was the look makeup artists used to do on faces all the time and I feel like I should look at more pictures Milani SPF BFF I will probably oh man dude what's your guys's favorite way to I don't know address issues do you have one are you somebody who's like, I want to, but I don't know what to do. But the actual awareness of it all is important when dealing with our own things. Like, voting affects a lot of stuff. Voting in the interim. Voting besides the presidential election. It's the reason why your state has the laws it has. The New York Times sent a thing talking about how Louisiana I'm going to use black opal and I think I'm just going to get it right on this face um Louisiana mm, 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 mm. all right Louisiana can make a rule the governor made a law talking about the ten commandments has to be in every class in every classroom of public school and I'm like well I don't know how somebody's gonna take that to the Supreme Court I know they will and they should because even though I'm someone who grew up you know Christian and stuff like that the whole reason this country was supposed to <laughs> have rules about church and state <laughs> was so that people would not feel intimidated to practice one certain religion because of government rules. That's why we separate church and state. That's why states are also able to monitor themselves outside of the federal government. 
to a certain extent. It's why the Supreme Court can pass something, but your state might not adopt that law because they have their own superseding law because the state is semi-autonomous. A nice little matte finish base because matte skin was all the rage in the 90s. So it seemed from my child eyes. I don't remember glossy faces. I remember a lot of matte faces. So somebody who was like able, old enough to put on makeup, I wasn't allowed to put on makeup yet. I was still like elementary school, so I wasn't putting on makeup. I'm using the Sahara 2 and I'm just going to go into these two colors because I feel like that is a quintessential 90s colored eye. Maybe people don't realize like how much power your state has but like like I was saying it's the reason why um, the state officials in Louisiana could get away with some shit like that because they were elected into that position and like people in those states are also talking about this um yeah so I'm just trying to buff out the edge I went a little too high up but that's okay it's, it's okay so that's where we're gonna start with the eyes right there mm. All right, so now we're actually going to go into, I'm just going to use this, and I'm just going to get in here. This is Innisfree um, Single. This is M40, or just 40. I'm just going to use it right here on the line. And then later I'll blend it up. But yeah. It can be exhausting being someone directly affected by injustices. And then on top of that, you have everyone telling you exactly how you're supposed to be acting about it. I'm of the firm mind where the greatest resistance to any kind of oppression is living your life and being happy. Now, can you do that if there's laws in place that are making it so that you're not allowed to live? It'll be hard. And don't you see, that's why I'm someone who's like, you don't have to do anything else because you constantly living, you constantly going for your dreams, you constantly trying, you moving about this world, is the act of resistance and doing more than that is just that you're doing more than that and that's perfectly great and necessary but don't ever think you're not doing enough just because somebody says you aren't because you don't have to talk about shit you have to live it that's a whole different ball game so when you do talk about it, when you are able, when you are able, if you are able, if you want to, if that's the way you move, then you can talk about it. I'm just blending out the line that I put there with a little more. Just a little more. Almost. All right. Thank you. And now we will go in with the actual eye line. It goes from the inner corner to the outside. There we go. Uh oh. But. There it is. There. Boom. Okay. So this. And we'll just do the outer corner with some black. She seemed to really have lashes put on on the edge of her eye. So that's where I'll focus all my mascara on the edge the edge lashes 
I guess that was to accentuate her eye shape. Okay, lashes, outside corner, right? Isn't that cute? Now, the top eye really is too red. I'm going to go into the Warrior 2. A lot of twos today. And I'm just going to use Yoda and Kafuru. Ooh. Take a little bit of that. We're contouring. Oh my god. A lip. Mm. Pat McGrath, she's so deep. I'm just going to put a little bit of the color pop. Ah. Lip dry, shit boy. Okay, last but not least, blush. So, we're gonna use this. She always seemed to have like some sort of toasty, warm blush. So, we're gonna use the Juvia's. What was this, Ethiopia? That is a single that they no longer make. But I use it for my blush, that's why it's like on its last legs. And I'm just gonna put it here. But mm. toasty. And then I wanted to actually add a little bit of this Milani Illuminator blush. Ooh. Just because. Mm -hmm. Nice. Let's do the other side. That's right up here. Way up here because that's where my cheekbone is. So, there you have it. Sade makeup. Basically, 90s it girl makeup. About to bloom like a sapo Hold me down like a capo In the middle of the room I saw you